It was the Carboniferous period, roughly 300 million years ago. The world was unrecognizable. There were no humans, no mammals, no birds, not even flowers bloomed yet. Those were tens of millions of years away. Instead, the earth was a vast green swamp, a steamy jungle of towering ferns and enormous trees with strange, scaly bark. Forests stretched endlessly, and shallow seas flooded the lowlands. The land was alive with creatures we can scarcely imagine. The endless green. A warm wind rustled through the giant club moss trees, some reaching over 30 meters high. These ancient plants, lepidodendrons, had trunks as thick as modern oaks, but their leaves were tiny and needle-like, sprouting in spirals. On the forest floor, a dense carpet of ferns and horsetails formed a green maze. There were no flowers, no colorful blossoms to catch the eye, just shades of green, deep and dark, dappled by faint sunlight filtering through the canopy above. The ground was damp, muddy, swamps and marshes sprawled everywhere, their still waters reflecting the towering trees. Decaying plants formed thick layers of peat, the raw material that, over millions of years, would become the coal that humans would one day dig from the earth. But to step into this forest was to step into the realm of the giants. The rain of insects. On a fallen log, something moved, a flash of shimmering green. A dragonfly, but not like the ones we know today. This was Meganura, the largest dragonfly that ever lived. <laughs> With wings stretching nearly 70 centimeters across, the length of a grown man's arm, it glided effortlessly through the warm, oxygen-rich air, hunting smaller insects in the humid canopy. Nearby, something even stranger scuttled into view, Arthropleura, a colossal millipede-like creature, over two meters long and half a meter wide. It moved slowly but confidently, its dozens of legs rippling in unison, feeding on rotting plants. Harmless to predators, but terrifying in size, it was the undisputed king of the forest floor. Above, in the tree trunks, strange noises echoed, the clicking and rasping of giant cockroaches, some as big as dinner plates, hiding in the crevices of bark. Spiders and scorpions, larger than a human hand, hunted through the underbrush. The world belonged to the bugs, and they ruled it well. <laughs> life in the water. Beneath the swamp's dark waters, more ancient creatures lurked. Amphibians, distant ancestors of today's frogs and salamanders, slithered and splashed. Some were small and harmless, but others, like Eriops, were as long as a man, with powerful jaws and sharp teeth. Stranger still were the fish, some armored with thick, bony plates. 
and sharks roamed the deeper seas, already ancient even then. The oceans teemed with life, corals, crinoids, and trilobites still clinging on. But the land was becoming more and more important, as plants spread and created vast forests that changed the world's climate forever. A silent world. But one thing was missing, there were no bird songs. No mammals scurrying about. No flowers to perfume the air. No human voices to break the silence. This was a world before us, alien, yet alive. The forests of the Carboniferous were so vast, so dense, that they pulled carbon dioxide from the air and cooled the planet, paving the way for the next great changes in Earth's history. The Turning Point Yet even as these giant insects and lush swamps seemed eternal, their reign would one day end. The climate began to shift, the great ice sheets of the south grew, and the swamps dried. The vast forests gave way to open plains. Oxygen levels dropped. Many of the giant insects could not survive in the thinner air. The arthropods shrank, and the age of reptiles began to rise. But for millions of years, the earth had belonged to them, the forests, the swamps, the dragonflies and millipedes. Thank you. 